everyone. My name is Nisha Talagala, and this is uh, my colleague Sindhu Ganta, and we'd like to give you a little preview of our full stack deep learning in Amazon Web Services course. I'm going to share some slides and to tell you what our class is about. So what are we covering in this class? Um, we are covering how to do full stack deep learning, not just training models, but also how to deploy them, integrate them, and use them in apps. What is a full AI lifecycle? How do you master it? How do you use powerful cloud AI services like the ones provided by AWS? And how do you build production grade services with this? How do you integrate AI into your applications? And how do you create AI based microservices? And we are going to do all of this in the context of deep learning and the deep learning algorithms provided by Amazon SageMaker. Um, first of all, we teach a whole bunch of AWS tools, uh, starting from S3, the simple storage service, where we will show you how to store data in it, how to manage your data, how to connect da data in S3 to the um, machine learning and deep learning stack, how to store your models, stuff like that. The bulk of our class will be focused on AWS SageMaker and particularly deep learning algorithms inside SageMaker for both image classification and also for time series. So we will show you how to do model training, how to build models for use cases in both images and time series. Along the way, we'll also show you how to configure AWS compute instances because this is particularly important for deep learning, you know, particularly when you have expensive CPUs, things like that. And so we'll show you how to configure those for effective and cost-effective deep learning. Now, once you have a model, then you will want to connect that to an endpoint so that you can connect it to an app. So in this uh, in our, uh, case, we teach uh, SageMaker endpoints. We teach you how to build a SageMaker endpoint for inference, how to configure it uh, to predict from a trained model that you would have generated by SageMaker. And then, th then you can use your SageMaker models to actually generate live predictions. Then now, if you wanted to connect your endpoint to the outside world, then we teach you the Amazon tool called API Gateway. And this is what you will need in order to connect the SageMaker endpoint to a public URL so that your external applications, like an app that you might wanna run on your iPhone, can basically connect also to the, you know, to the algorithms that you've trained. To connect all of these, we also teach you the um, AWS serverless functions and, and products called Lambda. And you will need this in order to connect your API gateway to your endpoint. So you learn the full life cycle. Now, once you have the life cycle, then you will want to manage it. And so we also teach you uh, how to use AWS services like CloudWatch, AWS's billing services, how to use them to find bugs in your pipelines, things like that. So this entire class is about teaching the AWS products and basically all of the ones we listed. Now to manage the full life cycle, we will also be using a bunch of other tools that are complementary to AWS. So we'll be using curl and postman to do both command line testing and automated testing of the rest microservice that you guys will create here. We will be using Python scripts and sample programs to do everything from image processing to generating LST files, to generating metadata for images and some data preparation for time series. And we will be using Pixida Navigator to create fast iterations of our AWS lifecycle and to explore our billing in some depth. So here is a sneak peek into all the tools that we'll be teaching in this course. This is S3. We'll show you how to upload your data into S3. What you're seeing here is how to upload images into it. Then we'll show you how to configure SageMaker jobs, deep learning jobs for both images and time series forecasting. We create endpoints in Amazon SageMaker and these endpoints are not accessible from outside. So we show you how to use the serverless tool by Amazon called Lambda to trigger your SageMaker endpoints. We also show you how to connect your API gateway to the Lambda. So this is a way that you deploy your service uh, to an external uh, REST endpoint, and you can trigger it from any external application like the Postman. Now, uh, a little bit of a uh, description of how this class works. We run this class as a, a series of uh, online video conferences. Uh, and we also have it supported by an online Slack channel. So I'm going to share my screen now and show you guys what the Slack channel looked like the last time we ran this class. 
And this is the class or the Slack channel for the last time we ran this class. So you can see that, you know, there's a lot of activity on the Slack channel. It happens sometimes during the class to share information. Sometimes it happens, you know, in between classes so that people are working on their exercises or their projects and they have a bunch of questions. They can post, you know, um, everything from slides to error messages to their, you know, files and their responses. And we are on the Slack channel and we will answer questions, have discussions, provide additional documentation and things like that. So another very important feature of this class is actually its projects. So in projects, uh, each of the students has an opportunity to build their own custom project from scratch. And we you know, provide you with ideas, help and so forth. And then you can present your project and you can also talk about your project you know, in any kind of a public forum that you like. So we wanted to show you a little bit of a sense of what people have done in this class in the past. So here is a Medium article that one student, David O'Dell, uh, wrote about his experiences in the class and particularly some scripts that he wrote and what he did to use those uh, scripts to connect his full end-to-end -end life cycle. This is another Medium article written by a different student about how he used the class to build a dog breeds classifier. So you can see that he has um, documented everything that he did, starting with the data, the model, how he used SageMaker, how he did all the hyperparameter tuning, you know, what he ended up choosing, how he you know, created the microservice, how he connected the microservice with a, uh, a program that he wrote that was external. And then he was able to document everything that he learned along the way. So you can see this is a very good indication of the kind of things that you can learn to do and what you will be capable of after you're done with this class. And also maybe in case I haven't mentioned, it's a very fun class. You know, you can do your own project, you'll learn lots and lots of things about Amazon and Amazon Web Services, and you will be able to build practical real world workflows that you can demonstrate to people how their businesses can really benefit from Amazon and DP.